I feel like eating this burger, you have to close your eyes. What's up guys? Thank you for tuning in and welcome to Food Sense. My name is Nickel and for today's video, I'll be doing a McDonald's mashup taste test. I'll be ordering my favorite items from the menu, doing a little mashup, seeing what I can come up with, and then doing a little taste test for you. But before we head out, please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get it! Alright guys, I am back. I have my mashups ready for you. I have about one, two, three, four, five mashup items and I'm ready to go. I am starving. I hope you guys are too and let's get started. So we have my first mashup which is a combination of a McChicken, a Big Mac and a filet -O fish So this burger I've seen online and I just wanted to try it. I haven't gave it a shot yet. It's called the land, sea, and air burger apparently. Um, the land would be the beef, the air would be for the chicken, and the filet fish for the sea. It's pretty interesting. Um, I've seen, it looks, it looks all right. And um, I'm gonna give it a taste, so cheers. Whoa. Woo! Yo, that's that's a game changer right here. As you can see, that's pretty good actually. As you can see, the tartar sauce from the filet of fish and the Thousand Island or the special sauce from the Big Mac with the cheese makes a great combination. And once you put this in your mouth, it just melts. Um, nice little crisp to the filet of fish. And um, you know what? This is actually pretty good. I'm gonna give it another shot here. Highly recommend this burger or this mashup, but if you're on a budget, do not get this because it's pretty expensive. I have to buy three burgers. I have to buy the big chicken, filet -O fish, and the Big Mac. Um, but I was, you know, I wanted to give it a shot. This is a great burger if you're out drinking. <laughs> You know, a night's out, coming home, you just want a nice, greasy, crispy, cheesy burger. That would be the filet fish McChicken, and the Big Mac, the Land, Sea, and Air Burger. I'm gonna call it the Food Sense number one burger. For my next mashup, we have the Sausage Egg McChicken. So it's a combination, it's a mashup of a junior chicken, or um, people watching in the states it's a regular mcchicken um, i'm from canada so we call it a junior chicken here about the same size um, and we are mashing it up with a sausage egg mcmuffin so i'm gonna give this a shot this looks good let's get into it cheers Okay. Now this is a breakfast sandwich. The junior chicken just meshes well with the sausage patty, the cheese, and on top of the egg. Ah, that one's pretty good. Let me take another bite. Hmm. Oh, definitely gotta have a chicken in your, your your sausage egg McMuffin. Now, I highly recommend this. It's pretty cheap. Sausage egg McMuffin and a junior chicken. Junior chicken in Canada is about what? A buck, buck 60. You just gotta take the patty out, put it in there. And um, this is Nicola Poo. And um, 
Yeah. All right, for the next mashup, we have the three-piece chicken and pancake breakfast, lunch, brunch, whatever you want to call it. But it's my mashup version of a chicken and waffle without the waffle, but has that chicken and waffle flavored taste. I don't have a fork here, so I'm just gonna use my hands. And we're just gonna, you know what? I could actually turn this into a taco here. Or a burrito. There you go. Get some syrup. Let me just grab some syrup. And uh, let's see how this works. Dab some syrup in there. I don't know how I feel about this. It's kind of dry, I guess because of the pancake, but. Nope. Maybe it's a syrup. Um, definitely not, not feeling this one. It's all right, but I actually wouldn't combine these two together. Um, definitely would have mashed this up. I actually love McDonald's chicken McNuggets, but definitely does not go with syrup or uh, pancakes. I'm actually gonna get some sweet and sour sauce. This is this is how you're meant to eat chicken nuggets from McDonald's: sweet and sour chicken nugget. Yeah, definitely. Do not try this with a pancake. Um, not nickel approved. I'm gonna have to pass on this mashup. On to the next. All right, so we have for the mashup of a McDouble hash brown. And we're gonna do a game changer here with a filet o fish steamed bun. Now, for those of you that want, don't want a filet of fish and just want the bun, you could actually request it at the drive-thru. They might give you a hard time, but just go, to, just go and ask for the steam bun that they use for the filet of fish and they'll give it to you. In this case, just look at that. It just looks perfect, it just looks pretty. So I mashed it up with a hash brown in it and a McDouble. I'm gonna give this a little taste and see if it's nickel approved. Cheers. Mm. I'm gonna add some sweet and sour sauce. Say what? You gotta live a little, you know? pretty good can't complain that steam bun is actually pretty soft um, still pretty you know and um, that act that hash brown in there actually gives a little crunch to it I actually put sweet and sour sauce on here it's not too bad um, you know melts well with the cheese here and um, yo this is not bad this is you know I can see myself eating this Every day. Well, not every day, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Oh, that hash brown makes a huge difference. Definitely a nickel approved. On to the next mashup. So, for our fifth mashup here, what I did was um, I saw this one online as well. They call it the 1035, 1045, apparently because it's a mixture of breakfast and lunch. So here we have the McDouble 
and sausage egg burger. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the English muffin here just because I know it's going to be hard. So it's not really appealing to me. I'm going to actually take this off. We still have that egg. Look at that egg. We still have that egg in there. I'm going to take that hard ass egg McMuffin English muffin bread on there. Okay. So here we have it. We got the egg, the McDouble, and the breakfast patty, which is called the 1035 or the 1045, but I'm about to give this a test right now. That looks pretty. Boom. Ooh. Okay, we get the best of both worlds. I feel like eating this burger, you have to close your eyes. This is it right here. 1045, 1035, whatever you want to call it. Best of both worlds, you got the beef and the breakfast and an egg and cheese. Say no more. This is nickel approved. And for my dessert match mashup, I have oven baked strawberry pie and I'm going to go get my, uh, I ordered a McFlurry, so I'm gonna mash that up. I'll be right back. And last but not least, my final mashup would be the dessert. Can't go wrong with the pie, but this time I got the, um, what did I get here? Apple? I was gonna go with apple, but I went with the strawberry. It's pretty brand new. I haven't had it before, and um, I will be mashing this up with an Oreo McFlurry. I'm thinking this is gonna go pretty good, but uh, we'll see here. I don't know if I should just dump it in here or break this apart. You know what, let me just, just so you guys at home could see. I guess it's not that fresh, but let's see what happens. Yeah, it's pretty, Looks like it's been sitting out there for a while, but whatever. Let's give it a shot here. Oreo mashup. Oreo McFlurry with the strawberry pie. Let's see. pretty good if I actually warmed up the uh, the pie it probably would melt into the ice cream here and like it's not fresh right now but if it was fresh it would be pretty good I'd, I'd approve this strawberry pie Oreo McFlurry you could probably get any type of McFlurry as long as it's ice cream but um, Definitely a nickel approved mashup. That's it. All right, guys, there you have it the McDonald's mashup taste test. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please make sure you smash that like button. Please subscribe and comment down below for any suggestions. My name is Nickel, and this is Food Sense. Peace.